Dream Team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Father Ted Season 3, Episode 7, Night of the Nearly Dead. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Father Ted, take it away. It really is extraordinary. Strange short emissions, which the patient shouts out, seemingly involuntarily. Fark! Arms! 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 Cares! Dude, there's oh nothing on. Why don't you read a book or something? All right. different book. <laughs> Actually, Ted, it's been a few minutes. I'll see if there's anything good on now. Oh my god. Honestly, Dougal, you've got to broaden your mind a little bit. What are you reading anyway? Actually, I'm rereading it. William Shatner, Tech Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this Egypt. <laughs> my lovely male mummy, so gentle and so wild. Rocking on your rocking chair, baking cakes and pies, my lovely mayo mummy, my lovely, lovely mayo mummy. Oh, dang! It's so oh, Father, isn't he lovely? <laughs> He's a brilliant dancer as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's time to announce the winner of my fabulous poetry competition. Oh. You had to write a book about me. And the prize is that I call round to the winner's house for a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> God, can you imagine that? Oh, God. <laughs> so over I go to my poetry corner. OK, here it is. This week's winner. Owen McLove is his name. Singing songs is his game. Someday I will say hello. And for a cup of tea we will go. And the winner is Mrs O'Neill from Kildare. And it says here she's 110 years old. God day! And she also asks me what my favourite things in the world are. And I'd have to say, well, uh, jumpers and uh, cakes. Oh no, what's this? It's a little puppy with a broken paw. Oh my god. I'd better go home and nurse it back to health. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Oh my. <laughs> Hard luck, Mrs. Doyle. Maybe next time. There's one of his songs reminds me of the time my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> Go and listen to his latest album. What do you mean? I, uh, we never knew you were married, Miss Doyle. We ain't never heard about no husband, Mrs. Doyle. What happened? He's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Women. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, women. All oh, right, yeah. Women. <laughs> you can't live with them, and you can't live without them. Yeah. But there definitely aren't any women in here. No, you're fine. Do you know what? I could write a poem and send it into that show. Let's be honest, the poetry Mrs. Doyle writes is bound to be hopeless. What would you write about? Ah, uh, Dougal. Inspiration can come from so many places. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 
God dang! No, 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 no. Father Nolan was in the gas explosion. He punched a hole in his chest the size of a football. When they found him afterwards, they were only able to identify him by his dental records. <laughs> Poor Father Nolan. Yes, he's very low at the moment. <laughs> What was that, Mrs. Doyle? Oh, my clothes come to Craig Hill. Did you come to Craig Hill that he read out my poem? Your poem? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wrote it as a surprise, but it wasn't my poem. No, no, it's mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mrs. Doyle. I don't think so. What was the first line? Owen oh, McLove has a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my poem. No, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Father Ted up say, Hey, did you stop down Mrs. Uh, doing your poetry skills, Father Ted? You thought she was better than her. I'm hugely confused, Ted. <laughs> the only thing I can think of that must have happened is that Mrs. Doyle's poem was better than yours. <laughs> well, that couldn't be, could it? <laughs> that your poem was actually worse than Mrs. Doyle's. <laughs> That just couldn't happen, could it, Ted? <laughs> you got to love Dougal. Dougal is absolutely my guy. Everybody needs a Dougal in their life. <laughs> could it? <laughs> God dang! Oh, she hating already. That woman over there hating already. Betsy <laughs> coming. Betsy <laughs> coming, tell us. I can't. It's a secret. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. anybody to know. You won't tell anyone, will you? I swear I won't tell anyone. May I be struck down with every disease that it is known for a middle-aged woman to suffer from. And as you and I know, Mrs. Doyle, that's a hell of a lot of diseases. <laughs> she definitely telling everybody. She telling everybody. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I think he's just. Yeah, you scared me, Miss Doyle. Jeez, my heart jumped. Ted. The good news is you can only afford a crappy blue Ford Cortina. <laughs> Imagine going around in that thing. That's my car. <laughs> All oh, right. Still, you know what I mean. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, he's here. Is this the place? What is it? Some kind of mental hospital? No, it's about working house. This week's winner is the priest's housekeeper. Better prepare the ground. So what's the story then? Do I have to walk to the door? Yes. <laughs> I have to walk to the door myself. Yes, Owen, you have to walk to the door yourself. <laughs> Mr. McLove will not allow any photographic record of the event apart from one official picture for advertising purposes. Mr. McLove will not sign autographs in ink. Mr. McLove is not an equal opportunities employer. <laughs> This is Owen here. I'm in the hall now. Is someone going to let me oh in? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Now, Dougal, he's our guest. Let's do this for Mrs. Doyle. Yeah. I know, I know. I'm Owen McGlove. That's who I am. Hello, Owen. You're very welcome. Right. Well, I'll leave you alone then. 
I'll talk to these two. Yes, sir. What will I do if the old one says something and I don't know what to say back to? Just, just, I don't know. What about the tech look one? He's looking a bit weird. Oh, I... <laughs> I smell wee. Where's that from? <laughs> it's this one here. This one smells a wee. Uh-oh. Best step away there. So where's the winner then so I can go home and have me tea? Actually, you can have your tea here. Uh, Mrs. Doyle! Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Brilliant, she fell on her arse. Uh oh. God day. Nine, sixty. Right, that's your twenty minutes up. I'm off. Don't try to stop me. Um, <laughs> oh, <clears throat> did you enjoy your tea? But yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I want to go now. It's getting dark. <laughs> You're not afraid of the dark, are you? It's only because the sun goes. It. it th there's this. <laughs> it's got something to do with clouds. <clears throat> I want to get out. How do you get out? Oh my oh, God! Before you go, uh, was there another poem that was very good this week? But no. <laughs> sure. The only other one I remember was from this lunatic. We had to call the police in because it was so demented. No, that, that couldn't be. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking to you now because I don't know what else to say to you. <laughs> Hello, is Patsy there? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't need to keep talking to me on the mobile, you know. I'm right beside what? you. What? This is a very bad line. Patsy. Oh my God. Dirty old babies. God damn! I'm afraid we can't stay around to chat. I have a very important baptism tomorrow. The baby has a very big head and it may not fit in the font. It's like a big tide of jam coming towards us, but jam made out of old women. Yeah. That's what it is. About this. I think we better get back to the house. Go away. I don't want to catch the men of pose. <laughs> Oh my days, Jesus! Google's wrong for that too, but God damn! Oh my god. Hello? Hello? The battery's dead. What about your phone? They've cut the lines. <laughs> they lie and wait like words. <laughs> the smell of blood in their nostrils. Waiting. Interminably waiting. <laughs> and then. It means right what? <laughs> what do they want? I think they just want to mother him. To be honest, he's got nobody to blame except himself. I mean, when you've got album covers like this, you know, you're just asking for trouble. <laughs> I'm no good at judging the size of crowds, but I'd say there's about 17 million of them out there. Oh my god! 17 million? I'm hungry. Where's the jam? 
You're not supposed to eat before your dinner. You should have. I'm Owen McGlove. I can do what I like. <laughs> I've got a terrible secret. Do you? Yeah. What is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Don't eat the jam from the jar. You leave me alone. I can have you killed. God damn! Get him! <laughs> I, I was just cleaning the spoon. <laughs> 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 I can't stand it. They're so quiet. Why are they so quiet? Patsy. What do you want? What do you want? <gasps> God damn. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't leaving. Y'all gonna have uh, y'all gonna have to call the squad. Swat. Y'all gonna have to call a SWAT team to get Owen up out of there. Owen ain't going nowhere. Owen ain't making it off of the island. You feel me? It's alright, she's one of us. What? 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 Y yes, yes. The oh, own um, Miss Doyle wants to know, would you like a cake? Who? Miss Doyle, this woman here. All oh, right. <laughs> uh, it's banana. She says she knows it's her favorite. Oh god, yeah, I love that. I need that. No one else is getting any. This is all for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What's happening? I'm scared. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, Miss Doyle, in an unusual move, has uh, baked a jumper in the cake. Oh my god. I'm going to get sick. This is terrible. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I'm not wearing a cake jumper. This is part of it. Yuck. Uh... Uh, I need cake though. <laughs> I don't like the way I don't like Owen. I don't like Owen one bit, and I don't like the way he treat Mrs. Doyle, the nicest, kindest lady in the world. Uh, Owen's disrespectful, and I can't rock with him. He's just a big kid. We have to get him out of here. You know what we need? Something to lead them away from him so we can escape. Some kind of misleading event, but what could it be? I know, a diversion. That's what it's called, a diversion. <laughs> I know what it's called. Just, you, can just it's do, called. you can just Google up. I think Google could, could pass, but I would dress him up. Put him in something that covers his face, kind of. And lead the women away. I don't know what the diversion should be. <sighs> come on, come on. Ideas, ideas. Frank! Frank! Arse! Oh, my God. Yes, thank you, Father Jack. I think we need more concrete ideas than that. What do old women like? Do you know what they really, really love, Ted? A big game of bingo. Why don't we just lure them into some kind of giant bingo game? <laughs> right. How would we do that? Well, we could uh, print up some bingo cards on our printing press and then we... Oh. <laughs> yes, it's the uh, lack of a printing press that lets us down there, Dougal. Or bingo balls, or a microphone, or in fact any bingo paraphernalia at all. Um, so near and yet so far. Uh oh. What? No, no way. Go on home. Shoo. Oh, father, we 
just wanted to tell you that was a brilliant mass you did last Sunday. Oh, well, well, thank you. I, I was very happy with the sermon, actually. Oh, yes. How did it start again? Uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, I think it was the actor Nick Berry who oh, said... Uh, sorry, Father. Uh, we can't hear you very well through the window. Oh, my God. I think it was the actor Nick Berry who said that... Oh, there he is. He's asleep. Oh. Oh. Isn't he lovely? Oh. You're not in my sermon at all. What's going on? Why is the window open? You can't hold it back upstairs. Get upstairs. Oh, my God. God dang! Oh God, what are we gonna do now? Jesus! Oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Father Jack, like, I got to get up out of here, dog. Father Jack, you got to go Not somewhere. Not to worry for ourselves, Father, but the little ones. They have their whole lives ahead of them. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh, ladies, it's after seven o'clock. I think your husbands might be wondering where their breakfasts are. Mrs. Dunn's right. Remember last year, Mrs. Dunn? Your husband tried to wash a cup and burnt the house down. <laughs> and Mrs. Collins, when Mr. Collins tried to make the bed on his own and lost a leg. Yeah! Surely you can't let them get through a day on their own. Go on home. this duck <laughs> oh my god right where off oh did you have those suitcases with you when you came no they're yours i just liked a lot of stuff here so i thought i'd pack it up and take it off with me <laughs> oh that's very cheeky <laughs> well i'm taking everything and that's that come on patsy day it's been so much trouble father i think a lot of it has to do with this problem Yes, you mentioned something about that earlier. What is his problem? I have no willy. That's <laughs> I, I, I a pretty big problem. That's <laughs> a pretty big problem. Okay. Don't you have something to say to Mrs. Doyle? Oh, eh, uh, thanks for the cake jumper. Aww. <laughs> Bloody cake bits all over the place. Oh, Father, you've been so kind to us. Would you like to come up to the show next week? Father Maguire was telling me you're always trying to get on television. <laughs> no, no, that's that's not true. <laughs> it is true, Ted. You're always trying to get on television. You told me it was your number one ambition in the world. Did I? <laughs> I, I might have said that. Joking, probably. <laughs> Anyway, I, I actually couldn't be bothered. There's a new part in the show. We get an audience member up to take part in a quiz. There's a cash prize. I do <laughs> well, Father, you've got four out of five right on your specialist subject, William Shatner's Tech Wars. So, if you get the general knowledge question right, the £500 will be yours. Oh, no. People will think this is rigged. John Paul II. What was his name before he became Pope? Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on, Ted. Jim. Jim. Was it not the same name? Did we become Pope? Your name changed? I don't know. I don't know the process. 
Uh, but that was fun to react to. That's all we got. Make sure you guys subscribe. Bring notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy D Neil. Out.